This is a, uh, a truism, and, and you need to remember. Prior, that's before, prior planning prevents poor performance. Four Ps, prior planning prevents, no, it's five, <laughs> poor performance. Space is something you gotta plan. <laughs> scared. Were you a little scared about about um, going going to the moon or coming home again? I'm scared because nobody has been. Because nobody has been there before. Well, people had gone up and down without staying in orbit. People, dogs and monkeys, people. Russian Yuri Gagarin. Um, then we'd done a lot of things, but we hadn't really sent people to the moon. So we did send people, and they went around the moon. Then we sent people, another crew, to go around the moon and then practice everything but landing. And then a very fortunate person with many things going right in my life gave Neil Armstrong, Mike Collins, and Buzz Aldrin the opportunity to make an attempt to make the first landing. And all of us wanted to succeed, and we did. And that's why I'm here. That's one of the reasons I'm here. Because I had the curiosity to want to tell people what it was like. And so I've written several books with someone else about what I've done, and then some children's books to help inspire. And now we've come to welcome you and others who read this book. Welcome to thinking, understanding, imagining what it might be like to get to Mars and then have somebody tell you all the things that are there that you didn't know. And these are books. And books inspire and get interest in people. Sorry, fast. Did it feel like the rocket was fast when, when it took off? <laughs> it was very surprising that it was so gentle leaving us. And it was a very smooth, slow rocket going up. And once we were in space, then we were floating around. But in getting there, the rocket goes faster and faster. And we're sort of pushed back in the, in the couch. But the rocket uh, sometimes doesn't work. And that's a very dangerous part. So when that part is behind us, then we have successfully gotten this far. But there are always things that can happen. But we are optimistic, and so are the people that built this. And that's good to have them really optimistic about what has been built. Would you like to have somebody that gives you something? Uh, know that when you pick it up and do something, it's not going to break. They test things. Flying. What else do you want to know? Flying. Um, what's it like? What's it like being in space with no gravity? Did it feel like you were flying? There is a... You would think that there is a motion, a movement, uh, when you look out the window. But it looks like the Earth is moving, and you're just... It's like being high in an airplane, 
but much, much higher. And you're floating because there's no gravity. But that's just a description. There is gravity all the way out to the moon and beyond. What keeps the moon there? Gravity. There's gravity, but it is, gravity is making us fall, but we've got motion, so that makes us move this way. You swing, you swing something on the end of a string, and it's going to keep the string taut. So that's what keeps us in orbit with gravity. It's balanced and it's floating. And I'm a diver, a scuba diver, and when you get down underneath the water, you're floating. And that's just like in, in space. And so you start, start to move and then you make waves or it's not quite the same as total floating. It's more fun up there. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I like to see the fish. <laughs> Long time. Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not uh, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and 